December 3rd, observing the pallets that were placed on the water and concrete pieces that the homeless would stand on to retrieve Chinook salmon. A total count of 16 were staged and these are the scenes before they were removed coming up next. One, two, three, four, five, six salmon. And this is a hen. She's gasping for air. And this salmon obviously got trapped thinking it could move upstream with a release that happens between the pump stations. And I'm reviving her now. And uh, I'm gonna push her downstream here. So one, two, this is just by myself. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight survivor. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen salmon that I found that are dead except exception of the one female that I'm about to rescue. Walking the last culvert, actual count was 16 directly below this and under this bridge of the columns. Calling other volunteers to the scene from the cheer group. One, two, three, four, but there's more underwater. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's more underwater. Stand right there. Put there's your a camera away. Let me put this. Fifteen yards down of the 101 Bayshore Silver Creek, documenting the salmon I pulled out of underneath both culverts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, salmon. Below the 101 Bay Shore, Lower Silver Creek, carcass count 40 yards, 35 yards downstream of the bridge. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Chinook, December 3rd, 2023, before I could arrive to this location, many more fish were taken before I actually got here. So it is believed that as many as 50 salmon were taken in this location at this time. December 6th, 2023, 1.32 p.m. Getting there in time and able to rescue and measure a, a female Chinook. December 7th, 2023, 7.43 a.m. From the top of the levee, I was excited and saying out loud, thank God there's no salmon, when all of a sudden a salmon jumped up on the concrete. She's gonna, gonna be able to make it. I'm gonna have to go rescue that one.
That's it. Once they get on their side, it's over. That's how easily salmon can die on this barrier. Just popped in. December 3rd, 2023. Observing at least six to eight salmon and filming them underwater. Here are scenes that about five to six salmon were holding in the concrete pool just below the bridge. Today is November, today is December 8th, 2023. This is the most recent casualty. Oh, I'm gonna get a measurement. That is a buck, prematurely killed. Measuring and then cutting them open to determine if they spawned out or not. Arriving December 9th, 2023 at 12.45 p.m. Arriving too late, opening them up and measuring them to see how many eggs they have. Laying in the channel, we're gonna go and measure. I'm gonna go measure and find out what condition she's in. 32 inch as well. So we're gonna open her up and see how she looks inside. 4,000 eggs at least. This is a travesty of what's happening with these salmon that will not have the opportunity to reproduce and sustain the ongoing salmon population, Coyote Creek system.